Mr. President. Senator from Kansas. Mr. President, thank you. I rise uh, this afternoon to discuss uh, the Department of Veterans Affairs and uh, this agency's continued challenges with properly uh, implementing the letter of the law. Uh, as we know, the VA has faced significant difficulties and in change over the past five years, issues that have spurred Congress to act. This Congress, we've passed multiple pieces of legislation designed to reform numerous policies from accountability to education under the GI Bill to transforming health care. Recent news uh, has put a spotlight on the VA's struggles to implement the forever GI Bill, which has resulted in delays or improper accounting of veterans' earned educational benefits. Financial problems on their earned benefits is unacceptable and causes an unnecessary strain on veterans as they pursue higher education. It is critical that the VA fix this problem. This should be not a matter of if, but when the VA fixes this issue and provides accurate earned benefits to deserving veterans. Based upon these struggles in implementing the Forever GI Bill, I have concerns that similar challenges will occur in the implementation of the VA Mission Act that was signed into law in June of this year, the most transformative legislation to the VA health care system in over 30 years. We are closing in on a six-month mark before the Mission Act must be implemented. June the 6th, 2019 will be when the new community care program under this act takes effect. This law requires several major critical reforms to the VA health care system. I want to quickly outline some of the biggest changes that the VA is required by law to implement. First, the VA must establish new eligibility criteria for veterans to receive care in the community, and that criteria must be based on clearly defined, easy to understand access standards. The VA must establish and apply quality standards to make certain that all VA and community care facilities are, provided, uh, are providing our veterans with the highest level of care the care they deserve. The VA must create th uh, th a thorough and reliable processes for the VA and community care partners to coordinate care for a veteran who is receiving care in the community to make certain that the burden is no longer on the veteran and accountability is instead on those who are charged with providing the care. The VA must start to plan and properly project their health care expenses. This requires the VA to establish a well-vetted strategic planning document that better forecasts health care demands and what the VA and community can supply to our nation's veterans. I certainly understand how large of an undertaking this effort is. Implementation of the Mission Act, while it's important, it is also a challenge. And that there are many within the VA who share our desire to transform the VA's health care system so that it, is, it can continue to provide care for veterans for generations to come. There are many at the VA who want to see this done well and done right. But I do know it will take time. Change is not something that occurs in a day or a month or even a year, and the changes required here are fraught with difficulty if not done the correct way. The key to making certain that changes are, are taking place is how, the, the key to making certain that change is taking place is how you respond to those difficulties. VA leadership can learn from the past and change the culture and complacency and excuses, and we no longer should have asking why, but why not? The VA will be testifying next week on the status of the Mission Act implementation before the House and Senate Veterans Affairs Committee. I will be there. And I urge them to hold nothing back, to tell us clearly where they anticipate struggles and are, they do in no way sweep anything under the rug, that they make certain that we know the challenges they are facing uh, and that we then can help them in the solutions. Without real change within the VA, we cannot hope for real change for our veterans and we cannot afford to fail them any longer or in any additional circumstance. The American people, Congress and the President have charged the VA with a daunting mission, but it is a mission that is so worthy to prove, uh, to provide our veterans, those who have served our nation, with a VA that is worthy of those veterans' service. Mr. President, I yield the floor.